Where's the trail? This is a trail for cars. Good morning, you guys. Morning. It's day 59. 59? I think I uh, messed up the day yesterday. <laughs> but uh, today it's day 59. It's a really exciting day because we're gonna hit 600 today. So our average of hitting the 100 mark at the 10 is still, um, it's still happening. We're uh, hitting uh, a week off, you guys. Uh, We're still hitting our uh, average. Yeah, even after the five or so days off. We're still hitting 600 at before 60, which is awesome. You know that uh, our average, I guess of well, now it's like 10 miles a day or so if you put it all together but but with all those zeros and all the low mileage days it's uh it's really added up yeah it's another freaking cold morning so you guys cold. like well, what the hell i have my pants on i have my fleece on yeah and then i put my shorts in my back pocket because we're probably gonna have to change because the days get so hot so quickly yeah um, so I'm gonna have to do a little costume change Ooh. at lunch, I guess. Well, we are planning a 23 mile day today. Yeah, my body's so... kind of burnt out today, but Here, I know we can do that. it. We are doing such big miles because we have a room at the Woods Hole Inn. Um, so we're doing 23 today, 18 tomorrow, and then a four mile Nero. So. We are going to have a sweet, sweet reward <laughs> for all this hard work. Yeah, it's been, it's been not bad. Trail's been a bit quiet, um, but we've just really been enjoying our days. Even though we're pushing, we've been taking so many awesome breaks. So we'll see you out there. So we left camp today at our earliest time yet. At 7 a.m. We are feeling pretty proud of ourselves for that one. And I just checked my, my little thermometer. It's 47 degrees out here. What the heck? Come on, June. What's the deal? Look at this. I had to wear my pants and everything. I think it's because we got up so early. This is what we get for being early. We get a crispy cold morning. So, we just ran into another familiar face. We just saw our friend Russ, um, who was with our old group when we, uh, when we left them. And um, I guess he got off trail about the same time as us. Um, he had a wedding and his sister had twins. And so yeah, he's like right around where we are now. And he was actually, he was going Sobo because uh, the Bear Garden Hostel, where we were at two days ago, they offer, um, it's a marathon for a cake. So basically, they drop you off uh, 26 miles away from the hostel, and you slack pack the whole way back, and when you get back there, he, uh, the guy who owns the hostel, him and his wife, she uh, bakes you a big chocolate cake, <laughs> which is really fun. Um, and you know, it's something I would have considered if they had offered doing it Nobo. I think uh, we just wanted to keep the purity of our, of our Nobo hike. But um, yeah, really great seeing you again, Russ. I don't know if you have a trail name yet. You didn't mention, I don't know if it's still Skywalker. Yeah, great seeing him. And uh, I guess he said all of our other friends are about 60 miles ahead. We all got a ways to catch up to them. Hmm. 
Now it's a cliff bar wrapper. We are getting closer to the culprit. Well, this is about the nicest view in Virginia we've seen yet. It's not bad. I wonder if they cleared all these trees just to make this one view. But hey, I'll take it. Yes, let's take a minute. <laughs> this is a good, spot. good, good spot. Oh, we just got to an area that has a lot of dead trees. Super crazy, and you can see all the new undergrowth kind of springing up. That's wild, man. I wonder what made all these trees die. Uh, maybe fire? Oh yeah, fire for sure. Yeah, there's a forest fire. Crazy stuff, man. Hey, gives you a good view though. But uh, yeah, not great for the trees. This amazing view with power lines. And now a better view. So we hit a new record today. We have hit 11 miles by 12. And I think that is incredible. And we started at 7.15 today and it was just lovely. We are really feeling the benefits of that. Able to do higher mileage, take more breaks. So I think if we want to do 12 by 12, we just have to get out by 6.30. And I know we can do that someday in the future, but today's been wonderful. We have seen a lot of friends we haven't seen in about a month. We saw our friend Russell. It was great to catch up with him. He was up on Blood Mountain with us and oh yeah, that was a real mood booster. And quite a few others who have also taken a little bit of time off to be with friends and family. It's kind of like we have our whole little network of people on the trail. We know people ahead, we know people behind. It is just incredible when you have those little reunions and it's been a while and it is just so special to share the experience with the people out here. So we are about a couple miles away from Bastion VA and we're just gonna be hiking straight through we have enough food to get us to Woods Hole, but it's a Sunday, so we're hoping we come upon some magic. Not to get my hopes up, but... Oh, it's a lovely apple. Oh. It's a little baby apple. A little apple. Little apple boy. So cute. Oh. Oh. Trail has just been exquisite. Virginia is lovely. It's definitely not flat by any means. But smaller hills, farmland, lots of power lines. <laughs> Very gorgeous. Oh, looky there, Parisburg, 45 miles. All righty then. Well, Brushy Mountain Outpost. I don't know if you can read it, but it says, the sign says, yes, yes, we're open. They are not open. No, no, <laughs> they are not, because they're not open on the weekends of which today is a Sunday. That's great. Just when we need them. Just when we need them. <laughs> but we have a box waiting for us at Woods Hall. Although it would have been nice to get a nice frosty beverage. Or a cone. Or a cone of ice, the iced cream. You know, it's a road, but, oh, that's where the trail goes. Up that little thing. That's pretty wild. Nice little picnic area. We have a long way to go still. This is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> We're like sandwiched between the road and the cliff. Oh, and another road. Guess we'll just keep on going. We are really excited. We made, we're making really good time today. And we have shelter in about 12 miles. Okay. I hate it's road part of the trail. Yeah, we hate I, road crossings. The crossroads. Terrible. Oh, there's the blaze. It's kind of a sideways blaze. And now, oh, there's another blaze over there. 
<laughs> Where's the trail? This is a trail for cars. This is not the greatest part of trail. <laughs> Sandwich between a barbed wire fence and a guardrail. A lot of traffic, a lot of road noise. This has by far been the most chaotic and dangerous part of trail that we've seen. Look at this. You have to go around this big old tree, but oh wait, there's slippery loose rock leading to a 25 foot drop onto the road below. So I know we're, we're crossing like three freeways right now, but uh, yeah. Well, that's something. Guess that's the thing down here. But hey, that's nice of them. These two, these two people maintaining these trash buckets. Guess they get a lot of uh, unwanted carcasses. Let's see what's in there now. Whoa, it's just trash. <laughs> Ugh. You guys, we just hit a huge milestone. 593 <laughs> super random but uh hey i guess it means 600 is coming up pretty soon yeah seven miles to seven, go seven more miles. we're gonna hit it today y'all hey forgot about it killing it well we're in a bit of a dry zone here and it really sucks because there was water down at the road well near the road but we did not take from it because A, it's near the road, and B, there was a bunch of comments saying that people got sick from drinking the water there. Uh, plus it was near the deer carcass sign. So uh, yeah, not getting water from there. So the AT, lovely old chap, is making us walk 0.3 miles out of our way to the shelter and then water is another 0.2 off the shelter, like straight down the mountain. So this just turned into a 24 mile day. And this is definitely not what we were looking to do, but we need water. And this should hopefully get us to Jenkins shelter. Womp womp. Oh well, no big deal. Hey, 24 miles, that's gonna be a new record for us, so I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I feel like my... So we met a new friend today. Her name is Forage and she is from North Carolina. Uh, it's really interesting. She took kind of a different beginning route. She said going up Mitchell and connecting over, I think the land to sea trail to Klingman's Dome. And she said it was about the same mileage. So that's really interesting. But she had just a really great perspective. She's been struggling with shin splints the past few days and her mileage has really slowed down and she went like six miles the other day but she was talking about how even that you know like is amazing and it's just such a miracle that our bodies can move in this way and take us places um so if you are you know kind of doubting yourself that you could ever complete a through hike or maybe you're training for one right now or maybe you just have your own home wellness goals just get out for a little bit every day you know even if it's a couple miles of walking a day you know really appreciate just the miracle that our bodies are and and really nurture that and take advantage of just what a blessing it is to be able to move our bodies. So we just passed 20 miles, still have about four to go, but we're feeling mostly okay. Mostly 
okay. You know, it's uh. The body is not too pleased, but. Yeah. We're gonna maybe take another short break pretty soon. Possibly. And. Yeah. Feel better. We'll definitely feel better. But yeah, I guess there's a family of four ahead of us. Yeah. Uh, mom, dad, and two kids. They're and gonna stay at the same shelter as us. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. We have never seen kids at a shelter before, so yeah. that'll be interesting. But yeah, they're like a bit ways ahead of us, so we'll probably won't see them till we get there. But oh, we are just this day is almost over. It's been a big day. It's been a big, big day. Six hundred, baby. Six hundred. Oh yes, it was so fast that we, we were just at 500. I know, what a beautiful week it's been. Oh, I'm so grateful to be back. Amazing. Yay. So good to be back here, killing these miles. Well, we hiked 24 miles to get to the worst shelter with the worst water and the only tent spot that is basically like a bowl shape. <laughs> so we're gonna get real cozy tonight. I have no garage, so. He has no garage. There's a tree. There's a tree right there. No garage for Evan. No garage. <laughs> oh, I cannot tell you how it feels to lie on the cold dirt after hiking 24 miles, I have lost my mind. She's crazy, folks. And the task of getting up to go cook dinner sounds awful and I'd rather just go to bed. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Good night, everybody. Good night. From day 59. We are physically and emotionally spent, but thank yeah. you for watching today's video. Yeah, thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, milestone today, 600, 600 and 24 miles today. Also, we're camping at mile 603. 603, baby. <laughs> we are feeling it. Probably going to have a not as early morning tomorrow, but still pretty early. Yeah. So we're still going to try to make some miles, but we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Night.